Hello, this is Daniel, please. My name is Daniel, and as you may have guessed from the title, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install just enough items for Minecraft 1.16.5. If you're looking to install just enough items for Minecraft 1.60.5, including Forge, then this is the right video for you because in this video, that is exactly what I'm gonna teach you how to do. Of course, I would like to let you know that there is this button on my channel that says subscribe. It's usually red and it says subscribe. So all you gotta do really before we move on to the tutorial is just click that button for me. And if a bell appears, just, just click that bell and enable all notifications or something like that. Just, just do it. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would sincerely appreciate that. If you actually need a Minecraft server, use the link down below. If you do get a server using that link, then I will earn a small commission and you'll support my channel as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is install Forge for Minecraft 1.60.5. Now Forge is a mod loader, which will allow us to load in pretty much any mod mate for Forge into Minecraft 1.16.5. So the first thing you need to do is open your Minecraft launcher, make sure the latest release of 1.16.5 is selected or any other version you want to use this mod with. And all you gotta do now is click play, wait for the launcher to actually launch into Minecraft if this is your first time launching Minecraft 1.16.5. And as soon as you make it to the main menu, just click quit game. The next thing you need to do is open up your browser or use the links down below in the description to install Forge for Minecraft 1.16.5. I'm gonna just search for Forge Mod Loader and go over to this first one that says files.minecraftforge.net. You just click it. It should bring you to 1.16.5 immediately. If this is not the page you see straight away, then all you need to do is go over to this menu that says Minecraft version, click 1.16 right here and just click 1.16.5. Now, I would recommend just downloading the recommended. Some mods may actually require a latest version, but if the mods turn out to run just fine, just use recommended because it's always better. Now just click installer right here, this big button that says installer, you'll be redirected to an ad page where you just have to wait five seconds for a skip button to appear. Don't click anywhere in here, just click skip. And now your file will start downloading, but because it's a .jar file, Chrome is gonna ask you whether you wanna keep or discard the file. If you use my links down below in the description, you can just click keep. Now go over to your downloads on Chrome. You can do this by going over to control J. This will bring you to your downloads immediately. As you can see, here it is forge installer.jar with a Java icon now. For many people, it does not have this Java icon straight away, which is a little annoying, but we can fix that very easily. So the first thing you wanna try and do is actually click show in folder, right click this file, even if it has a different icon, go to open with, and then try to find Java platform SE binary. If it's not there, it usually means either you do not have Java or you need to use a program called jarfix down below in the description, which will fix your .jar files. All you need to do is go over to jarfix in Google or use the link down below in the description. Go over to this first one, click jarfix.exe right here. This will download a file. If you click it, you'll get a UAC prompt where you have to click yes. And then it will say the .jar suffix has been registered successfully, or it will say you'll have to download Java for it to be able to work. If that is the case, don't use the link in there because that one won't work. Just go over to java.com and then this link, it will also be down in the description under Java download. You'll come over to this page and click this big red button that says agree and start free download. This will download a Java installer. You just download and install it. And then after that, you can come back to your file, show in folder, right click it and now open with Java will be there. So you can just click that, or if you already had it set up properly, you can just click it straight away. Just, I'm gonna close this. Just double click the installer if you already had Java. This will open up a Forge installer. All you gotta do is click OK right here. If you have install client selected, click OK. Now the installation process shouldn't take more than about a minute. On some PCs, on some new PCs, it's really fast, like just five seconds. And once it says successfully installed client profile forge, you can click OK. If it doesn't say that, you might need to install it again and try and see if it fixes the error. Now we have forge and all we need to do now is actually install the mod. So to install just enough items, what you want to do is use the link down below in the description or just look for just enough 
items 1.16.5 come over to the one that says curseforge.com this one immediately takes us to the files but we don't really need that we can just go to the main page right there which is the page you'll see if you use the link down below in the description click the one under 1.16 the top one is usually the latest and the most recently updated one so click the download icon right there don't worry, this says game version 1.12.2, but that's not actually true. Once again, this is a .jar file, so click keep right here. I'm going to drag this over to my desktop right here because we're going to need to drag it into the .minecraft folder. So the next step is the last step of the installation process. And what you need to do is go over to your search bar, type in percent app data percent hit enter or just click the file right here. Navigate over to .minecraft. And then this is your Minecraft folder with all of the files. Here are your save files and maybe resource and shader packs if you've ever used some. What you got to do now is right click and click new folder, name it mods, lowercase m o d s. Just click somewhere and it will create this mods folder. Now click it. You'll now be inside the mods folder and now you just drag your mod, which in this case is just enough items in here. And that's it. Now, if you launch Minecraft, you should be able to select a new profile called Forge. If it's not over here, you can come over to installations right here and it should be clearly visible in here. If not, you may not have installed it correctly and you have to try again, like I said before, and you just click play after you successfully put the mods in here. So I'm going to go back to the main menu right here. Just have it selected right here and click play. As you can clearly see here, we're in Minecraft 1.60.5 with three mods loaded. Two of those are Minecraft and Forge itself. And the third one is just enough items, the one you specifically wanted to install for this video. So all you got to do now is click done here. That was just to check whether the mod was there. Now, if you hop into a new world, a 1.16.5 world, as you can see here, we are in Minecraft 1.16.5. I don't know what I can show to prove it. Well, there's the netherite armor. So this is clearly 1.16.5. Now, as you can see, we have this huge menu right here that is incredibly helpful. That is just enough items. What it allows you to do, pretty much the basic things are you can click a block to actually see what uses it has, and you can also see how to craft it itself. So you can both see how to craft wooden planks or oak planks. That is by putting logs into a crafting table. But if I hover the oak planks and press U on my keyboard, I can also see the uses for oak planks. So I can see that it's used to craft pistons, beds, but a whole bunch more stuff as well. Swords, everything. And you can also see what you can do with it in an anvil, namely repair tools, and you can use it as fuel. And it will tell you exactly how much items you can smelt using this as fuel. So that is extremely useful and the best thing is it works with mods as well. So I hope this tutorial actually helped you out in installing just enough items for Minecraft 1.60.5. If it did, be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up. Let me know down below if anything went wrong or anything you need help with. Also, you can join our Discord. There's a lot of helpful people in there that know a lot about Minecraft and they'd be more than willing to actually help you out if you're having trouble installing mods like just enough items for Minecraft 1.16.5. Of course, like I said, you can subscribe to the channel by hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Hit that thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video. And then as always, you know, I'm going to catch you in the next one. See ya.